This video will show how to determine a binomial probability using Desmos.com. For the first example, the random variable x has a binomial distribution where n is equal to 8, which is the number of trials, p is equal to 0 0.2, which is the probability of success, and we're asked to find the probability x equals 1. Let's go to Desmos.com and graph the binomial distribution. First step is to go to Desmos.com and click Graphing Calculator. Next, click the Show Keypad button in the lower left hand corner. Then click Functions. Then click Dist for Distributions. Then select Binomial Distribution. Notice how we're told to enter the trials, comma, the success probability. The number of trials is 8, comma. The success probability is 0 0.2, close parenthesis. Let's close the Desmos keypad by clicking the Hide Keypad button. Let's adjust the window on the graph by clicking the Zoom Fit button, which is the magnifying glass here on the left. Notice now on the right we have a nice graph of the binomial distribution. To find the probability x equals 1, we can simply click on the point where x equals 1, which is this point here. The second value of the ordered pair gives the approximate probability of 0 0.3355. Another option would be to click on the find cumulative probability box here on the left and then set the min and max value both to 1 and notice how the probability shows below with more decimal places and we also have a vertical segment here on the graph showing the point where x equals 1. Either way the probability x is equal to 1 is approximately 0 0.3355. which as a percent is 33.55%. Let's also find the probability using the formula below and then we'll evaluate the expression on the right using Desmos. So the probability that x is equal to 1 is equal to n choose k times p to the power of k times the quantity 1 minus p to the power of n minus k. Where in our case we know n is equal to 8, p is equal to 0 0.2, and k is equal to 1 because we have the probability x equals 1. Which means the probability x equals 1 is equal to n choose k is 8 choose 1 times p which is 0 0.2 to the power of k which is 1 times the quantity 1 minus p which is 1 minus 0 0.2 raised to the power of n minus k which is 8 minus 1 or 7. And now let's go back to Desmos and evaluate this expression. Let's click in cell 2. To evaluate a combination, click the Show Keypad button, click Functions, click Stats, click NCR, which is the combination function. We want 8 choose 1, and therefore we enter 8 comma 1, close parenthesis, times 0 0.2, close parenthesis, raised to the power of 1. Of course, the exponent of 1 is optional, right arrow, and then 1 minus 0 0.2 is 0 0.8, so we have times 0 0.8 to the power of 7. And notice how we get the same probability. For our second example, again we have a binomial distribution. n is equal to 9, p is equal to 0 0.3. We want the probability x equals 4. Going back to Desmos, let's go back up to cell 1, and we'll change n to 9 and p to 0 0.3. Close the Desmos keypad. Let's delete cell 2 by clicking the x on the right. We want the probability x equals 4, so again we could click on the point where x equals 4, which is this point here, and notice how the second value of the ordered pair is approximately 0 0.1715. That is the probability x equals 4. Or we can change the min and max both to 4. It will draw a vertical segment at x equals 4 and get the probability below, which again is still approximately 0 0.1715. Let's also find the probability using the formula. Notice now we have k equals 4. n choose k is now 9 choose 4. p to the power of k is 0 0.3 to the power of 4. And then we have the quantity 1 minus p, which is 1 minus 0 0.3, raised to the power of n minus k, which gives us 9 minus 4 or 5. 
And now let's go back to Desmos. Click in cell two, click the show keypad button, click functions, click combination, which is NCR. We want nine shoes four, enter nine comma four, close parenthesis times 0 0.3, close parenthesis, raise the power of four, right arrow. One minus 0 0.3 is 0 0.7, giving us times 0 0.7, close parenthesis to the power of five, and we do get the same result. This was supposed to be in blue, but this still works. 0 0.1715, which is 17.15% here, as well as above. And above, 0.3355 is also equal to 33.55%. I hope you found this helpful.